Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mr. Hansen Math Videos. The subject of today's lesson is multiplying fractions. But before we get there, let's talk about multiplying whole numbers in general. If we have 2 times 3, which can be represented as 2.3, that means two groups of 3. The word multiply can often be substituted with the word of. So 2 times 3 has the same meaning as two groups of three. Two groups of three. So if I draw this using squares, I have one group of three plus a second group of three. And if you count them all up, there are six objects. That's why two times three equals six. Notice that we started with two and we multiplied times three and we ended up with six being the product and six is bigger than either of those two. But the question we're going to talk about now is when you multiply, does the answer, the product, always get larger? Well, let's investigate this with fractions. This is what we've been working on in class. First example is going to be 1 half times 3 fourths, which I want everybody to think of as 1 half of. Multiply is like using the word of. Half of 3 fourths. Half of 3 fourths. Half of what? 3 fourths. So we have to start by drawing 3 fourths. Think of this rectangle as the whole, or think of it as a pan of lasagna, and the whole thing is no longer there. We're going to start with 3 fourths and then take half of it. But before we take half of it, we've got to start with the 3 fourths. Fourths means four equal pieces. So I'm going to split it down the center and then half of one side half of the other okay please excuse my artistic inaccuracy but you'll get the main idea so I have four equal pieces one two three four and of these fourths I need to take three so I'm going to shade in three of these four equal pieces so there you have it there is three fourths of a whole or three fourths of a pan of lasagna if you will now of these three fourths I need to take half of it, which is multiplying by half. So how I'm going to do this visually is the following. I'm going to cut the whole pan of lasagna in half the other way down the center. And using another color for clarity, I'm going to shade in half of the lasagna pan. Okay, now, the first thing I like to talk about is the denominator of the answer. The denominator is always equal parts of a whole. So now we need to look at how many little pieces has the whole been subdivided into. We can count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer is going to be in eighths, or eight equal parts of a whole. And how many got double shaded, red pen and purple highlighter? One, two, three. So the answer is three eighths. So there you have the uh, result with the drawing. You can see that we started with three fourths, which is a big chunk. Then we divide it in half, which is a very large chunk. And the answer is only three eighths, which is three of these little bitty rectangles. So when you multiply fractions, you're taking a piece of a piece. You're taking half of three-fourths. So you're starting with a part, namely three-fourths. You're taking half of it, which is this much here. So you end up with a smaller piece. When you multiply fractions, the result is smaller. Also to verify our answer three-eighths, you can multiply straight across the numerator. One times three is the three. And denominator, two times four is is the 8. So there you have it. Okay, please stick with me for one final example. This time around, let's check out 2 thirds times 1 fifth. 2 thirds times 1 fifth, or 2 thirds of 1 fifth. 2 thirds of 1 fifth. Okay. 2 thirds of what? 2 thirds of 1 fifth. Let's start with 1 fifth. Take our rectangle, which is a whole, or pan of lasagna, and we're going to try to make it into five equal pieces, or fifths. 
Okay, please excuse my inaccuracy if I don't end up with five equal pieces. I'm going to try my best here. Okay, they're not quite equal, but you get the point. They should be. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the fifths. How many do I need? How many fifths? One. So you can shade any one. I'm just going to stick with the first one here. Okay. I have one fifth of the panel of lasagna. That's all I have left. Just this much. And of this much, one fifth, I want to take two thirds of it. So to take the two thirds, I'm going to split the whole into thirds going the other way, like this. Okay. And I need to shade in one of those three equal rows. I'm just going to shade the top one. Okay. Hold on a second as I do this, please. All right, so I shaded one third. That's the top row of the three rows. I shaded, whoops, hold on a second. I'm messing up here. It's not one third, is it everybody? It's two thirds, all right. Well, easy to fix. I just need to shade two of those three equal pieces, okay? Two thirds two rows of the three, two of the three equal pieces. And I started with the one fifth, that was one column out of the five, this one out of the one, two, three, four, five. And now let's look at what happened here. How many little individual rectangles do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Our denominator of the answer is going to be fifteenths and how many of those got double shaded red pen and purple? One, two, just two. So really, if we're taking two thirds of one fifth, we're only taking this much, okay? It's a very small portion. When you take two thirds times one fifth, the answer is smaller, it's two fifteenths. Remember, fifteenths are small because you took the whole and split it into 15 equal pieces. Do you wanna check to make sure two fifteenths is correct? Multiply the numerator straight across. Two times one is indeed two, and three times five is indeed 15. So the answer is two fifteenths. There it is visually, you're taking a piece of a piece and the product, the result is smaller. I hope this helps. Thank you very much and have a great day.